The Fizzypod Pilates kit is one of the most versatile kits you can use. You can use it for uh, unilateral, so single arm or single leg work, or bilateral, so both arm and both lower limb work. All right, very versatile. You attach the table attachment round to a, a pole, clip on with your clip, and you then, as you see, have two pieces of tubing with two foot or hand loops to use. The first exercise today is squats. So we're going to squat down and come up into a shoulder press. So straight up and squat down. Lift your arms up, press up and down. Press up. So this is for your quadriceps muscles, the front of your thighs and rest. Okay, second exercise we're going to do is on the mats. So you need to be laying on your backs. This next group of exercises is for lower limb strengthening. Again, you'll need to be on a carpeted area, on a mat with the tubing behind you attached to a table leg or a doorway. We'll have your hips and knees up at 90 degrees, please. In this position, you must engage your core. So you bring your belly button down in towards your spine and keep it in that whole time. So we're going to do single leg extensions. Soon, Kem, one leg out, alternating legs. Slower, Sue. All right, double legs, so you can do bilateral leg extensions, straight out, straight in. Now, this is great for your core, everybody. you really working, looks like they're not working hard, but they're working quite hard. We'll give them a little rest. Okay, rest down. Next one we're going to do is both legs up to around 80 degrees. So up. Now, both legs straight down to around 40 degrees. The lower you go, the harder this is. So this will depend on how strong your tummy is. Up you come. All right, three of those. Down you come, and up, down, and up, down, and up. Next exercise is legs slightly apart. Now we're going to do circles. So circling with your heels, keeping your knees straight and your tummy sucked in at all times. and change direction, so we'll do circling the other way. Fantastic, and rest. This next exercise is hip and knee extension as well. So again, this is for the gluteal and hamstring area. So your knees coming through to your chest, Sue, and then straight out. Lead with your heel, hold it for a couple of seconds out at the end, so in and out. With all these exercises we're aiming for two sets of 10 repetitions, so about 20 reps. Now if you found that was too easy, just stop and rest. You've got a second tube here, you pop that on and out you go. You've got double the resistance now. So you would do this with your right leg first, left leg second, with single or double tubing, depending on how strong you are. Another way we can use the Pilates kit is as you would the lower limb kit. So we're using a single piece of the tubing here with the loop around your ankle, and we'll do the four hip movements, hip flexion. So forwards, one, two, three, and four with a quarter turn. We now do hip adduction across the front of your body, one, two, three, and four. Another quarter turn, hip extension this time behind your body. This is your gluteal and hamstring area. And one, two, three, and four. With a quarter turn, we're now doing hip abduction out to the side. And one, two, three, and four, and rest. This next exercise using the Physipod Pilates kit is for your core strength, the oblique muscles. So they're the side waist muscles. With your arms straight out in front of you, keeping them straight, rotate to the side. And back to middle, and to the side. Back to middle, to the side, back to the middle, to the side, back to middle. Now we'll change direction, other side, and back to middle. and rest. 
This next exercise is again for your oblique muscles in your trunk, core stability. So sitting on a ball or chair, arms above your head with both tubes, single or double, depends on your strength, and just bend to the opposite side. Back to middle, bend to the side, back to middle, and bend down. Okay, then you turn around and do the other side. Using the Pilates kit again, we can do two arm exercises or single arms. So at the moment we're going to do alternating chest press. So one arm out at a time, out you go. One and two. And one and two. Now double arms, both out in front, chest press. This is for pectoral area and the deltoid muscle. So this chest press is at chest height. We can also do that, change your grip a little bit and do pushing above your head. Up you go. Push, shoulder press all the way up. And rest.